Look how pretty these little trays are. Aw, that's cute. Oh, look, a pineapple. They're that hard plastic. Mm. I don't like them that much, but that is really cute. Look at the trays. Oh my gosh, butterflies. That is so pretty. It's just hard plastic. Look at that. These are so pretty for tea time. I just automatically thought of somebody with a little girl. Y'all could have tea time with her. Oh, what are these? Oh, wow, these are glass. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I don't need any dishware, but oh, look, they have orange and black. Pretty. These dusty little crockery dishes. Oh, these are pretty. They're glass. They only have that one color. How cute is that? So cute. They have these in two sizes. $3.99 for that one. $7.99. Man, y'all are on crack. Pretty, but not $7.99 worth of pretty. What are these? Aww. That's cute. That's kind of neat. For like a little bar area. Maybe you could do coffee, creamer, and sugar for your coffee bar. That's cute. Oh, I like this. Is this a candle? No, just a little lidded jar. Looks like milk glass. Look, a diamond mirror. It's broken though. This panel came off of the glue, but that's cute. I was almost tempted for my mirror bedroom, but it's a little young. It's cute though, but not five bucks for something that falls apart. These are nice. Over door hooks. It's cute. Look, bedazzled, fakey Fabergé eggs. All on 99 cent only. Easter leftovers, I guess. Fancy little decanter. It's $5.99. Boom, boom, boom. My newest obsession aisle. I don't need any more pots. Ooh, that's speckly. Ooh, a purple speckly. Does it have a drain hole? And it has a drain hole. A purple speckly. Look at these. It's a pussy cat. Little frog. Oh, look at these. Look like Mexican pottery. Those are pretty. But I don't need any more. I don't. Hmm. Can I get creative with any of this? Ooh, butterflies. I like these. But I'd need too many. And at $1.99, it'll add up. And I'm not trying to spend like that right now. I have these. Oh, these are pretty. I love seashells. Look at that. What else? Is it just knickknackery? I thought it was a pot. Oh. Look at that. That's cute. I like those. Look at the little owlies. This salsa right here, guys, is so bomb. I'm going to have to get it because this is the only place that I can find it. And I'm down to like this much of the last one I bought. Yum, yum, guys. I'm going to grab me a uh, mango one of these and see if they have a peach. I can't do guava because of my allergies. But what I like to do is um, 
pour some of these in a cup and put it in the freezer. Um, either make ice cubes out of it or just put it in the freezer and then blend them for a while and you have a slushies. They are so stinking good. And then if you want to get a little buzzy tippy, add a little alcohol to it. Y'all might think I'm playing, but I'm going to see if there's anything here I can replant. I repotted a celery and it's doing really good. YouTube says you can do carrots too. And I know it probably won't yield any veggies, but it'll just be. I saw where you can plant the rubies on these. So it's the little bottoms. And grow new greens. Like I said, probably more for fun, but I'm tempted. Look at these beautiful lemons. I love to have lemons, especially when it starts to get warm. Something just so yummy about lemon anything in the heat. Look guys, my blood runs cold just looking at these. I am really, really allergic to apricots. I can eat peaches, but I can't eat apricots. I get swelling of throat and it's pretty scary. Can y'all hear me? Or y'all just hearing this lady singing above my head? Cantaloupes, coconuts, mangoes. Whoa, beets! I could plant beets. I could plant a beet. Look, that one already has growth. Y'all see that? I'm buying these just for the growing experience. Look at this. This one's already growing on its own. Hola guys! It is Sunday and I just got in from running around doing some whatnot shopping. Um, went to Aldi, 99 cent only, and Dollar Tree. And it's friggin' hot outside, okay? I had to come in and take another shower because it's humid as heck. It's been raining since Friday and the sun is out and almost 90 today and it's icky and uh-uh. I had fun just random buying stuff um, and I thought, you know what? Let me just show you guys everything I picked up. It's rare that I do kind of like a grocery haul. I don't even know if this is a grocery haul. There are some groceries in there but there's some other stuff in it and I figured why not? It's here. I didn't even put this stuff up. I came in, I got in the shower. Oh, that's my phone. I got in the shower and came out and the cat is rooting around in one of the bags. What is in here that you are interested in? Little poop, little kitty, strawberries, really? Okay. But anywho, I'm like something different, something to put out there, something to visit with you guys with. Some of y'all guys may be into this. I don't know. But um, 99 cent only. Some of y'all might find these finds interesting too. So... Y'all tried these? This was at 99 cent only. Honey Nut Frosted Flakes. I love Honey Nut Cheerios. I love Frosted Flakes. Why not combine the two? I hope they're good. I'm just going to be pulling stuff out. Sandwich bags because even though little dude doesn't go to school anymore, um, he still likes to take random snacks and stuff to grandma's. I got some batteries. You know what? I'm all over the place. Maybe I should have just stuck with the veggies. I mean, the groceries. You know what? No, let's just pull stuff out of the bag, shall we? Yes. Okay, batteries because we always need them. I got little dude one of these vent rings. Uh, he's been hinting. Oh, man, this is a vent ring. Oh, no, it's a phone stand. You can stick it to the back of your phone. I think I got the wrong thing. Anywho, he had been hinting around that he wanted one of these, but he's not one of these kids that'll ask for anything. He just kind of hints around at it or is like really grateful for whatever you get him, unless it's Christmas and you specifically ask him, do you want something? He won't ask you for anything. And he had been hinting around that he wanted one of these to kickstand his phone. And I don't catch hints. I'm one of these, tell me what you want kind of people. And uh, today, as I was looking at it, I'm like, oh, I think he might want one of these. So went ahead and got him that little dude hickey. Uh, speaking of little dude, as he's getting older, he's getting his own vibe about himself. And for a while, he's been wanting a green streak in his hair. I don't know what that's about, but he's been wanting a green streak in his hair. And anytime we're out and about and we remember it, we can't find green. We find teal, we find turquoise, we find kind of green, but not green. But I found color hairspray. 
in green. So we're going to try it. Hopefully it doesn't super stink and hopefully it doesn't mess with our breathing or the cat's breathing. Uh, but I was just geeked out that they actually had green and I remembered so I picked that up for them. Got some baby bottles. BPA free for my friend who just had a baby. Um, and she can't keep up. The baby's like two weeks old. She goes, I can't keep up with washing all those bottles. Um, so, so I'm like, you know what? Let me just get her some more bottles. Why not? I got my cubitos. Remember yesterday I was cooking the boil and I was like, if the, if the, the sauce is too thick, I water it down and add a cubito, my little bouillon, and I couldn't find it. This is the one I was talking about. The tomato base flavored of chicken. Um. I thought I had bought some and I can't find them. So I went ahead and bought the tomato one, the beef one. This is what I make my taco meat with and just the straight chicken one. I told you guys in the video that I put in right before that this sauce is the bomb diggity dog. So good. I don't really like hot salsa like this, but this one is so good. I will put up with the torture. Kitty, I think this cat wants a strawberry because he's sniffing at my strawberries. I'm in a smoothie mood and these look delicious. Now I'm going to try and plant these. Oh, you're sneezing now? Are you allergic? Are you like your mommy? I'm going to plant me some strawberry seeds. YouTube says you can do it right off the strawberry, so we'll see. I got some radishes because I have been craving tacos de bistec, just like steak tacos. You know, you pan fry your tacos, the meat, and you chop it up and make like street tacos and I love it. I love tacos like that with radishes. Got some nanners. Got an aguacate, an avocado. Look at this dusty old avocado. Let me tell y'all something. These avocados that got all these raggedy marks on it are some of the best avocados. They're bright and green and delicious, just like a watermelon. If you ever find a watermelon, it's kind of funny and has the yellow spot and has these markings on it, get it. They are so freaking sweet. So when I saw these, I was super excited. They were 99 cents each, but, and I almost grabbed two, but I'm like, girl, you ain't even craving them like that. But I do want them for the tacos I'm talking about. And I finished off my own little pickles. Uh, if you guys watched a video or was, did I put it on Facebook? I don't know where I put it. Uh, I sliced up the English cucumbers and put them in pickle juice that I just have in the refrigerator and every few days, every couple days, I give it a toss and then like in two weeks you have friggin delicious pickled cucumbers and I finished one of my jars and the pickle juice was lonely. So I grabbed another one for that. A kitty, get out of the bags, you're gonna suffocate. You're gonna suffocate. Oh, nothing in here but sodas. Uh, the only time little dude gets soda is on the weekend. Um, so he looks forward to that, but every now and then I have to mix one of his medications. It's a laxative with something a little sweeter because it's kind of, uh, so I keep some on hand and this was just a win by this stuff. If you're in Texas is the big cousin or big sister to big red. This stuff is so good. It's just cream soda. That's probably going to go flat on us because we don't drink soda like that. Every now and then we go to town on it, but a lot of times our sodas lose their bubbles because we don't drink it like that. I did go ahead and pick up the Humex. The Humex. I did get the mango and I was so happy that I found the peach. Because I'm tasting my slushies. I told you guys in the video. Freeze them. You can even put them in the fridge. Take some out. And put them in the freezer. And because the, the cartones, the little containers are, are like pliable. Just pour some out and put it in there. And freeze it for a little while and then squish it and you can pour out your own smoothie but I just do ice cubes or just put it in like a plastic cup and then dump it in the blender and I make an icy so good um, what's in here okay you guys I had to get this I've seen this there since we started heading back out and I was like ew Frizzeco Cola Moscato now when I do drink, I love Moscato wine, okay? And when I saw this, I'm like, gross, Moscato and soda? And I left it there for many weeks. I just would walk by it and wonder about it. And then yesterday, as I was sipping on my Moscato, eating my boil, 
eating my boil, eating my seafood boil. Anyway, I chase my Moscato down with soda after. The reason because the Moscato I like is the Diasti, the one with the little bubbles. And those little bubbles build up in me, but they don't build up so hard that I burp. They just kind of sit in there and I get kind of bubbly. Um... At least I do. I don't know about you, Osti drinkers. Maybe I'll just burp. I can't. It just sits in there and builds up and builds up. So what I do is I usually, when I'm done sipping on it, I'll have a little bit of Coke or Pepsi or whatever and a burp. And I'm like, I wonder if that's the premise behind this thing. Or maybe people just mix it because they like it. I don't know. I tried to Google a review on the taste while I was at the store, but my phone was acting stupid and I couldn't really... Uh, get it I got a lot of um ads pop up for it and this is like nine to twelve dollars depending on where you buy it and 99 cent only was selling it for 3.99 so I'm gonna chill it and one day try it I gotta be in a real mood to drink I, I'm always nervous to drink I'm such a weenie I'm always nervous to drink because I'm just convinced that I'm gonna drunk text somebody, I'm convinced I'm gonna get it in my head to go drive somewhere, which is stupid, or I'm convinced that I'm gonna go do something dumb, like pick a fight with my neighbor or something. I don't know, I'm just a chicken. So as soon as I start feeling a little tipsy and I'm by myself, I cut it off. But that's everything I picked up at the 99 cent only. It wasn't really grocery groceries because I'm set for groceries, but every now and then I'll come across something like really good or a good deal and I'll go ahead and grab it. And I'm just in a real produce kind of mood lately. Anytime it gets warm, it's like, that's all I want. I want cool and fresh. So then I went to Aldi um, after Dollar Tree and I love their brie and they had their brie in stock. So my bougie self got some brie and I got their brand of little um, sea salt pita crackers. And I love the brie smeared on the cracker with a little of um, fig preserves which I also found there and I have in the refrigerator nice and chilled so my bougie got a hold of me and I wanted it and then I also I went into Aldi to see if there were a few things in there that I need for what I want to make myself for dinner here in a little bit I have a craving uh, tacos de papa, potato tacos very basic not in the flour tortilla in the crispy corn tortilla I'm craving them. They're very simple, but they are so stinking good. And I have the tortillas, I have the papas, uh, but my green salsa got mold on it. My red salsa never gets mold in it. My green salsa, my red salsa never, my green does for some reason. So I picked up some of this. Homemade is better, I know, but I lose Mexican points because this girl don't make homemade salsa. We don't eat it like that. But the tacos I like with green salsa, I like with the queso fresco and it was the only one there i was so happy because i did not want to go to freaking walmart for queso fresco um and i really want it for my tacos and then sour cream i've never had this brand but i need sour cream most people use the mexican crema for their tacos i don't like the way the mexican crema tastes it tastes and smells like glue to me so i stay away from that i prefer sour cream so that's all the grocery stuff, I think. That's all the grocery stuff on this round. But then, let me show you guys what I got at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, I went in there because I have a project in mind. I'm going to probably show you guys that later. I want to do another cooking video. I want to show you guys how I make tacos. Very simple. But um, I went to Dollar Tree to look for craft supplies. And I should have bought them last time because they were pretty much out of everything I wanted. Y'all stop. remember that video? But... I got this hook and this is part of the project that I have for outside. So I got the hook and these were too cute to leave behind. These garden picks, little fairies, look at that. Garden picks, pot picks, and this one has a little short hair. Is it cute? Oh my goodness, I had to have those. And my camera died. Why well, didn't I? Too much, too many, too much memory loss, memory loss. There's too much crap on my phone, okay? I'm going video crazy, you guys. And it's just because I'm solo. It's the first time I've been solo in a long time. Usually me and little dude are out in the bout and doing whatever. I got a lot of free time on my hands. But anyway, I cleared up some space. I picked this up. I'm going to put this over Princess's little feeding eating area because I have uh, Love Has Four Paws, one of these over Ozzy's eating area and Little Princess doesn't have one. So I got that for over hers. 
I found a movie called Butter uh, with Jennifer Garner, Ty Burrell, Olivia Wilde, Alicia Silverstone, Hugh Jackman. I mean, just really good actors, people that I like. And I looked at the trailer on YouTube and it looked hilarious. So I got that. I got this little plaque that says meow for over the litter box. I found these plant labels because I have a mango seed out there that I know I'm going to forget is a mango. I want to do garlic. Uh, I have my little onion sitting here. I'm going to, um, two of my little lemon seeds uh, sprout, um, germinated. So I'm going to need these for, so I know what the heck I'm attempting to grow. Now this I picked up for my project I'm telling you guys about. I wish I had bought the paints that I want that I, when I saw them last time because they had way more colors. I have a wood form, a Texas wood form that I got at Dollar Tree a year and a half ago maybe and some uh, numbers, some wood form numbers and I glued them, I glued the numbers onto the Texas wood form and it's my address and I'd show y'all but some of y'all know my address, some of y'all don't. I might be... I might, being, I might be being stalked by some psycho that doesn't like chubby girls who thrift and go to Dollar Tree. But anyway, I want to paint the Texas yellow and I'm going to paint the numbers black. I already have the little hook attached to it and I'm going to hang it on here and I'm going to stake it kind of by the walkway in my yard. So that is what I went into Dollar Tree for, for these paints and then I found these brushes. Because it's not a very large sign. It's over there. I'll show you guys in a little bit what I'm talking about. But this is what I initially went in there for. And of course, y'all can't walk into Good Goodwill, Dollar Tree, and not buy more stuff. Smoothie mode. I got some chunky pineapples. I got some sliced peaches. And I got some mango slices. Because every now and then, I just want a smoothie. Frozen is better, but whatever. Um, I got more baby bottles, BPA free, and this was before I grabbed those three. Uh, so she's gonna have five baby bottles. I got this Sazon Goya, but this is cilantro and achiote. Achiote in English is annatto. I know what it looks like, and I'm sure I've eaten food that has it in it. Uh, but I kind of wanted this because I think I want to sprinkle it on the potatoes. I've never used this sazon. I usually just use either my badia or just some Lowry's on the potatoes that I'm going to make here for the tacos. But um, this sounds good. So I got that. I bought another one of these citrus thingies. I know I had one and I can't find it. And yesterday when I was trying to squeeze lemon in my boil, uh, the seeds kept going in. I cannot find it. I've looked through every drawer. Drawer? I've looked through every drawer and I can't find it. I think one of my friends might have taken it um, on their way home. I used to have what we, me and my girlfriends would call wine and wine nights where we would sip wine and wine about our life. And sometimes we would make mixed drinks. And I think one of my friends accidentally took my strainer home. So I grabbed another one of those. I grabbed another one of these. Um, the one I have is okay, but it's getting a little wonky in the little screw right here. So I don't wanna be trying to flip a tortilla and it breaks off in my hand. I bought another pair, what is that, that? What is wrong with me? I bought another pair of um, kitchen shears. Mine are all gross and cracked and just nasty. And that makes me move kind of. So I bought, one of those, do I need it? No, but it was so pretty. Luscious wine. I might put on some lipstick to make tacos. I don't know. The burner covers I have on my stove right now match this exactly. Home is where our family gathers. And it's really cute and it's a glass cutting board and I thought this is nice. Also, uh, I don't have to pull out the big plastic one and I'm either or. I prefer a wood cutting board, but I haven't been able to find one that I am willing to pay for. Plastic, I always think it's not clean. And glass, I'm scared of glass chipping in our food. But I just thought it was pretty because it matched. And for just slicing lemons in half or whatever, not a serious chop like an onion or something. But just for that, I think it'd be okay. And the last two things are some more no-stink sticks. 
I bought the Secret Shower Fresh and the Secret Powder Fresh because my Dollar Tree is not keeping these in stock. And every time I see them, I like them because these work on me. I like them. So that's everything. I am going to put everything away. I'm going to take this towel out of my head because it's making my head hurt. Um, and I am going to start my tacos. It's 6 o'clock. Little dude probably won't be home for another hour or two. I'm going to make enough that in case he does want some, he prefers that type of stuff in a flour tortilla. Uh, but I'm going to make enough in case he wants some. I can um, have some ready for him. So I hope y'all aren't sick of me. Keeping popping, keeping popping up in your feed. Something's wrong with me, guys. I'm not speaking correctly. But anywho, until the next video where we make tacos de papa. Thank y'all for watching. Love y'all bunches.